I feel like I should be crying in this video. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna try to film this video in one take. I'm sure you saw the title, um, so let's talk about it. Uh, for those of y'all who are kind of new, I've been doing YouTube since I was 14 years old. So that's a while. Um, <laughs> I absolutely adore it. I love it. It's my pride and joy. It's my little baby. Um, but, you know, with that being said, I was really inconsistent this year. I've been hiding a really big part of my life from y'all. For the past like two years and it's really affected me personally so it affected my channel and I feel like it's kind of time to come clean to y'all and let you guys know what I guess I've been doing um I can't tell if it's hot or I'm like getting really emotional and like hot because of that I get a lot of comments on this channel kind of being like oh my gosh you're so positive you're so happy like how do you do it and I deal with really really severe depression it's not something that I open about and to be honest I felt really guilty about it for a while because I get a lot of comments on here being like you're such an inspiration you're so positive all the time and I guess for me I deal with such bad depression that I feel like I know how it feels to you know go online and see like all of this negativity and all of this like really kind of dark and mean and I don't know like online people can be mean and make like drama and negativity and stuff and I know how it feels to read that stuff when you're really down and out and for me I've always wanted to make my platform a place where somebody dealing with stuff like that um, can come and kind of get away and escape all of that. So I try to steer clear from like negativity on my channel. Like, I've been dealing with depression since I was like, 14. Um, but it had never gotten that bad until this year when, um, I don't know, I don't know if I should say this on camera, like, I just, but it, it got so bad to the point where I was suicidal, like, multiple times. On top of that, I deal with, like, the most severe OCD. Um, and if you don't know what OCD is, it's obsessive compulsive disorder, it's a mental disorder, and I've dealt with that since I was 10. I've hidden my mental illness for a while from y'all because I feel like it's it just doesn't go with my brand. <laughs> um, and like on the surface, I am a really happy person. It just sucks because inside I don't always feel really happy. Like outwardly, I am a really happy person and I'm really happy for other people and I'm really happy for like I'm really I'm, I'm really blessed for what I've been given and I'm really grateful and I feel so grateful. But then on the inside, I just feel like this constant like emptiness and I also have OCD so I deal with like really, um, really intense thoughts and stuff that don't really make sense and they really affect my life and I was doing compulsions a lot and I, I, I here's the thing. I can talk about my depression kind of openly with y'all, but my OCD is so hard to talk to people about because I don't really understand it, so I don't really know how to explain it to other people, and it's also like I get to choose how much I share, and I don't want to share like all of that with y'all because it's personal, and I'm going to share how much I'm comfortable sharing. My depression and OCD got initially really bad this time last year. Um, and I started isolating myself from my friends. I had to move out of my apartment that I was living in by myself because I... I had to move out of my apartment that I was living in by myself to move in with my parents because I couldn't live alone anymore because it was so bad. And I had lost about 15 pounds because I stopped eating because my OCD was so bad and I was freaked out of food because OCD isn't like a cleaning disorder always. Um, it actually, there's like several different types of it and it affects everybody in different ways and for me it was like manifesting into multiple different things and one of those things were food. Um, and then it started to affect my YouTube channel and I stopped uploading because I couldn't make videos anymore. I couldn't edit anymore because I was too freaked out to edit videos, I was too freaked out to film, I was too freaked out to buy clothes, I was too freaked out to put on clothes. I, I, would, wear the, I would wear the same outfit for days because I couldn't put on different clothes because I just was too freaked out about it. Um, I was eating, I, 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 I only ate smoothies for a solid month of my life because I was too freaked out of everything else. And I know none of this makes sense to you if you don't have OCD. And if you do have OCD and you know what it is, then it makes sense to you. 
and I use the word freaked out because I don't want to go into detail about it because like I said it's really personal and it's just not something that I'm like completely ready to open up about but over the summer I checked into a mental health hospital because it was so bad and I just had given up on like my battle with it um I had given up on my battle with OCD and depression and I was really at the end of like a long battle. Like you have to remember, I started dealing with OCD when I was 10, I started dealing with depression when I was 14 and I was just like, a couple of things, I felt like, um, I don't, I just didn't understand a lot of things. I felt like I just couldn't do it anymore and I, um, was just defeated I guess for lack of a better word so I spent my summer in a mental hospital um, I was doing an outpatient program for OCD and then they helped treat like my depression and stuff while I was there I was there from May until August right um, I don't know I don't know if I'm doing a good job of explaining myself at all this stuff is really hard to talk yeah I don't know I guess I just felt like a fraud making videos for a while because I was dealing First off, I couldn't. I physically couldn't. I had to go get help. I had to go get help to get back to a place like right now where I'm at, where I can film and be on camera and edit videos and do things like that. And for a while, I felt like a fraud. I would tell my mom, I'd be like, you know, I'd go on camera and i act like all happy and dandy and like little do people know, like the night before I was crying. You know, I've been kind of posting videos and trying to get back into a routine of posting again. And it feels weird because I took this huge break from YouTube and none of you guys knew why I was gone. And I feel like to you guys, it looks like I abandoned my channel. I, um, you know, don't care anymore. I just seem like different. I don't know. And I, I understand that like taking this huge gap meant that I was going to lose a lot of viewership, but also like, it was kind of like, I was not functioning and I couldn't live anymore. So I had to take this break to get my life back. It sucks that I hurt my channel in doing that, but I'm also like to a place where I'm ready to post again and I'm excited to post again and I want to post again. And um, I don't know, I just feel like you guys, cause you guys have been there for me since I was like 14. You guys are owed an explanation and not only that, I feel like I want to give you an explanation and I want to explain why I stopped posting videos for a while. So when I was in this program, you had to write down like your goals, right? Like once you like kind of like what you were fighting for, I guess. And every single session, every single paper I would write, I'd write my YouTube channel. I was like, I just want to get better so I can go back to doing YouTube. I just want to get better so I can work again. I just want to get better so I can, you know make content because for me like creatively when my depression was so bad in high school and stuff I would put all of my time and effort into making videos that's what I did like as a depressed teenager that's why when I get comments from you guys that are like oh my gosh I'm so depressed your videos make me so happy I'm like you don't even understand like I totally get where you're coming from and like YouTube was my creative outlet in high school and it still is my creative outlet and I totally totally 100% understand where you're coming from <sighs> I just feel like I owed you guys um an explanation as to where I've been and what I've been doing and I guess why I quit YouTube for a while. I know this is like a more serious video and I'm sorry for that. I just wanted to put it out there and be honest with y'all and kind of move forward and let you guys know where I've been at and apologize and hopefully you guys understand. Um, but I just want to thank you guys for all of your support. It really means the world to me. It means so much to me and you guys do a lot more for me than you'll ever understand. And with that being said, I hope you guys um, are excited. I'm going to be making videos again. I'm getting back on like a consistent schedule. That's my goal. And I want to know what y'all want to see. Um, so if you could leave a comment and let me know what videos you guys want to see coming up. Um, I'd really appreciate it because um, you know it's been a while and I I don't know I'm like what do people watch anymore like I don't know it's been a while like I'm not Emma Chamberlain like I don't know um but yeah I don't know just leave a comment and let me know what videos y'all want to see but yeah anyways I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video and bye guys